Katie, we have some breaking news happening uh, right now. Our crews, after heading home from that shooting investigation in Chaparral, came across a, a very scary car crash. This is a live look right now. Let's send things out to ABC 7's Jason McNabb, who's at the intersection of Stan Roberts Jr. and MLK. Uh, Jason, are you out there? We're here at the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard and Stan Roberts Sr. Avenue in far northeast El Paso, just south of the New Mexico state line. We're actually right across the street from the Job Hit Canyon Quarry. Um, there are multiple vehicles involved, with one of those being completely smashed in the front. There's at least one vehicle hidden behind this fire truck right here. Uh, we don't have any official word on injuries at the moment, but El Paso Fire and El Paso Police are both on the scene and we saw one person being taken away on a gurney. We'll keep you posted as we get more updates. Reporting from far northeast El Paso, I'm Jason McNabb, wow. ABC7. Okay, thank nice you, Jason. Day. I mean, we see we see that one car here, the black car. The other, the second vehicle Jason was talking about, uh, talking about behind that fire truck, not able to see that. But we did see with this, oh, this car looks like it was severely damaged. Uh, we did see before we went live here, there seemed to be uh, a woman in a red dress that was sitting next to this car. With the uh, police officers were helping her. They had a puppy. Yes, a puppy there. Um, and you heard Jason there say that uh, one person taken uh, away on a stretcher, put mm -hmm. into an ambulance, and, and most likely taken to a local hospital. Looks like they're talking to uh, maybe some bystanders or witnesses to this crash right now, getting all the information. Uh, we're going to keep on calling our, our dispatch here to figure out what exactly happened, what time this happened, and, and update you on air and online at KVIA.com. We'll take a break right now. We'll come back with a look at sports.